Oh, you guys just recalling these memories, it's... It's... I'm sorry. It may be a bit challenging for me. These were very dark days that I'm gonna be reliving. Just so you know. But seriously, the title of this video is not a lie. I did actually hook up with a girl, and I'm not talking about just making out. I'm talking about first base was passed, second base was passed, we stopped. Thank God we stopped at third base. We wouldn't have made it home, that's for sure. I will let you guys know my experience, so maybe you guys don't have to do the same thing I did, because it was a very strange process, and to quote the great rapper Eminem, I'll never stoop so low again. So quick announcement before I do this video, I'm actually gonna be going back to LA, you guys. Finally, well, I'm not moving back, I'm just visiting. I think it's the second week of December. I'm also completely terrified of plane rides, so that's gonna be an experience. I always am afraid that I'm gonna go on a plane and the airplane guy is gonna come on and be like, we're going down, uh, we're going Timber. Plane's gonna go down, the oxygen mask is gonna come down, I'm not gonna know what to do. Somebody's gonna have to assist me like a child. But, <laughs> but hopefully I survive the flight and I will be hanging out with my YouTube boyfriend. He's not my actual boyfriend before any of you pop off. Travis Bryant, hashtag track, that's our ship name. Comment below with hashtag track. But it should be fun, so say hi to me if you guys are out and you see me in Disneyland, Universal, rummaging through a dumpster looking for food because I'm poor. Just come say hello. But let's just get right into the story, guys. I have been telling a lot of stories on this channel recently. I, I, I've been telling more stories than a librarian. I've been telling more stories than the pastor at my church. The only difference between my stories and his are my stories aren't fictitious. <laughs> and I'm just kidding, so simmer down, everybody. So anyway, this took place when I was in a 12th grade. This was the party that I threw up all over the wall. So if you guys are wondering why I hooked up with a girl that night, daddy couldn't handle his liquor that night. <laughs> this happened at one of my old principal's houses. <laughs> Anyway, don't worry, we all got disciplined harshly after for this event, so it was still worth it though. <laughs> so let me just start out by explaining to you guys, because I'm sure 99% of you are homosexual men, 1% of you is a girl, and you may even need this explained to you as well. First of all, I'm not a gynecologist, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a scientist. I'm not a vagina myself. I understand very little about vaginas. One thing that I learned while hooking up with this person was there's a big hole that is not called the vagina, apparently. The big hole down there that they have is called the vulva. Big fucking vulva, and then there's two holes inside that hole. One of them's the pee hole, and one of them's the vagina. I thought the whole damn thing was the vagina. Clearly, I was wrong. There are so many holes, I know. It's... The egg is really hidden in there, so apparently it does not want to be found. Question that I never understood, can you technically touch your egg? Like, girls, can you reach your hand into your vagina and touch... Where are your fallopian tubes? No one understands vaginas. No one. Every, if anyone says they understand a vagina, they're lying. Babies come out of them, they're pink, that's all we know. End of discussion. At the end of the day, vaginas are like the ocean. 98% of them are unexplored. We don't know all the organisms that live in them. You guys, I don't know, it's a big hole. I don't know where it ends. I don't think anyone knows where it ends. I don't think there is an end. It's like the universe. It's ever expanding. I don't know, vaginas are weird. I don't have one, okay? I, what do you want from me? Also, from my experience, vaginas don't smell like fish. I don't know where that came from. I don't know if I just happened to be with a clean one. I don't know. So anyway, this girl was my friend and we started hooking up on a staircase. On a staircase, the front staircase to her house. I know it was a great idea. Why, you ask? I have no idea. Screw the beds, screw the couch. Let's hook up on the rickety staircase. Anyway, I just kind of asked her. We were both drunk. We were both sitting on the staircase. I don't know what we were talking about before him, but I just popped the question, you know, simple. Because I knew deep down that I had to explore vaginas at some point in my life. I just needed to get it over with. I needed to wash my hands of it, you know. We started out by a nice sensual makeout session. It wasn't really sensual because I felt zero eroticism. I've been told that I'm a good kisser and she wasn't a bad kisser herself, to be entirely honest. I mean, I was a better one, but that's okay, not everyone can be on my level, people need to learn. Eventually we got to the point where tongues were involved, and apparently I was feeling very generous in my drunken state that all I wanted to do was give, give, give. The thing was, vaginas were everything that I was expecting, just... Uh, uh, there's nothing more. They feel the same way you would think. 
They stretch the same way you would think. Everything about them completely met my expectations, which were very low. Nothing exceeded them. Nothing was... It was boring. I got zero sexual pleasure out of it, and I literally mean zero. If I had to compare it to something, I'd prob- Okay, um, I would probably get the same amount of sexual pleasure from, like, say, peeling an orange, or folding laundry, like, it was on that level of sexual excitement. Also, it's a whole lot of work, like, making a girl happy is a lot of lot of work. I must have burned thousands upon thousands of calories, and after a while, I was just- like over it. Plus she wanted to return the favor to me at this point and I was like, daddy has not manscaped, so lol no. I think she was annoyed that I didn't let her do things to me, but I lost consciousness like two minutes later so I didn't have to deal with it. Like I said, I threw up all over a wall. It was really cute, McDonald's. Ew, don't throw up McDonald's ever, it's not, it's not pretty. But you guys, seriously, in regards to hooking up with girls, it will probably be just as boring as you <laughs> expect it to be. Seriously, if you guys want to experiment, go for it. Do your- do you, I don't know. But chances are, if you think you're gay, you're probably gay. Just saying. So have fun with a flaccid penis making out with a girl. Have fun with a flaccid penis trying to put it into a girl. I don't know, let me know guys if you've ever hooked up with girls, if you've experimented with girls, let me know, like, uh, do you understand vaginas? Because I certainly do not understand vaginas. Also, if you're a girl watching this video, I'm sorry I called your vagina boring. I know the truth hurts. <laughs> no, seriously, it's just not my thing. I Believe me, if you're a girl, you will find many guys who don't find your vagina boring. I will never understand those guys. I don't relate to those guys, but you know... You don't have to look very far for that. I'll also never understand boobs because straight guys love fucking boobs for some reason. They're like, boobs, 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 I love boobs. And I'm just sitting there like, it's literally a bunch of fat. It's fat, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna call it out for what it is. It's a big sack of fat. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Like I said, comment below with your thoughts. Follow me on Instagram at jmeridu or follow me on Twitter at officialjackm. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I've been playing with my watch the past like five minutes. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys next week. Bye guys. Okay, it's okay. I'll just call my sugar daddy. He always seems to know what to do. Hello, Ernest? Ernest? Ah, why is no, why? Where in the name of fuck am I? And why is this person up my rear? Ah, uh, it's so hard to be a defenseless twin.